Hey, what's up, guys? I just got back from Comic Con 2012. So this has been my first time at Comic Con. I must say, it was a new and interesting experience. I think the first day I got there, I went to the WB booth and uh, extra stage outside the Hilton Bayfront. I saw Batman in a super cool costume and just a bunch of Batmobiles. I think there's some from the 60s and all the way up until the recent one, actually. And right across from it, there was an extra stage where there um just a bunch of VIP guests were doing some shows. I saw um, Michelle Garcia, Mila, I forgot her name, is like a Jabovich, I think, the chick from Resident Evil. And then um, I think the Bacon Brothers were there a couple of days, or at least one day. <laughs> some community people, some uh, Hunger Games people, just a bunch of variety of people just going up to the extra stage. Uh, I think on Wednesday, it was just rehearsal. Uh, I went back to my friend's place. My friends live in San Diego, so I crashed there, got some drink on, hung out with my sister. She lives in San Diego as well. And overall, it was just a nice and mellow first day. Thursday, the second day, I went to, uh, I was walking around. I got some passes for my buddy and I, and I, uh, we just walked around. I remember there was this fat ass line. It was wrapped around the boardwalk. I think it was like a three hour line. And um the road was blocked off. I didn't know how to get across. And I jumped one of these uh rails and then I was following the people and then they all entered this hall. And by the time I entered the hall I looked behind me and there's like still that fat ass line. I'm like, whoops. I just cut in front of a fat ass line. What just happened? And so these guys I was asking, hey do you know what this is about? And um, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're super excited about it. They're telling me about it. This is, this is the um, Twilight panel. So me and my buddy, guy friend, by the way, says, Twilight? Holy shit. I think we just cut in front of, like, a couple thousand people. And we felt really bad. But more important than that is um, we would rather not go in and see the Twilight panel than actually cut and go in. So we actually went up to the security guard and said, hey, we went in here by accident. How do we get out of it? And so uh, instead of cutting in line for like two, three hours, we uh, just walked out the door and uh, we walked to the show floor instead. So I almost uh, made a big mistake and cut in front of the Twilight people. And had they had known, they, they would have been pissed off. So I was walking around Comic-Con, the show floor, there's just a ton of booths just walking around. I was a little amazed by how many people there were. People were shoulder to shoulder. I think it was impossible to not bump into anybody. And I, I was just walking around. I think I took a look at every single booth a little bit. I didn't really buy anything. And then my sister stopped by a little bit after. And I showed her around. Unfortunately, I did have to get to work. And so um, the rest of the day, I just spent most of the time uh, working at the Guardian's booth. And I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun just working it. You know, I'm... I'm practicing shout casting outside of League of Legends, and you know, people go up to ask for my autograph. You know, it's just it was nice to be recognized outside of League of Legends as well. Um, that was my Thursday night. I think that night I went to an IGN party. I went to the IGN party, and I think I met a couple of cool people. I met up with my friend uh, Kat. You guys, maybe you guys know her, maybe not, but on YouTube, she's known as Cat Riffic. She's hanging out with some YouTube buddy, and um, there's another dude there. I think his name is like Joey Graceffa or something, and so we went around, did a little bit of dancing, took some pictures, and got really drunk. Those guys were way messed up, so I think I spent the rest of my Thursday night at the IGN um, Expendable Party and Resident Evil Party, which is pretty cool. I mean, I really like the environment, lots of cool people. Um, Lots of beautiful women, too. I think that's the most important part. Let's go! And uh, on to Friday. Friday was pretty damn cool, too. I went to Nerd HQ. Uh, I had met an uh, acquaintance. I like to call her my friend. I don't know if uh, it's mutual or not, but let's just say she's my friend. Uh, I met her at E3. She was one of my co-hosts for the Guardians game. Her name is Allison Hayslip. And uh, we got there. She showed me around. I asked her, what's Nerd HQ? And she's like, oh, let me find Zach. He can explain it better. I asked her, oh, who's Zach? He's like, oh, he owns Nerd HQ. I work for him. And I'm like, um, I don't, what's Nerd HQ? And so I'm asking these stupid-ass questions. And she finally like just 
say it flat out. No, Chuck. I was like, oh yeah, Chuck. I love Chuck. Chuck from the TV show, right? And yeah, that's him. I'm like, oh my god, I felt so dumb. So she showed me around Nerd HQ, and as I was walking around, Stan Lee just finished his panel, so he was heading out. Caught a glimpse of him. Uh, I didn't really want to bother Chuck because he was doing like a photo thing. He was taking photos with fans. So I walked over to the YouTube booth across the street from the Petco Park too. So I uh, walked in there, and I think at the same time, Felicia Day was. Uh, doing a little show talk thing. So I stood around and watched her. She's super cute, so I enjoyed it. I was RSVP Friday night for the uh, Walking Dead 100th issue release party, so um, I felt a little underdressed. As I was walking in, there's a bunch of like, these beautiful women dressed up. It was just very stunning, very stunning. And I'm walking around, I feel a little undressed, and then I went in. All right, the guys are dressed very, very casual, so and I started feeling in place again. There's a bar to the left. I grab the drink, finish the drink. There's another bar to the right. Grab another drink. And then I'm walking deeper and deeper as I approach the dance floor. There's another bar to the left again, another one to the right. So I'm just like drinking all these drinks, and I was getting buzzed really quickly. Uh, Allison showed up, gave me a quick hug, introduced me to a couple of her friends. And then uh, Seth Green shows up. I recognize one of the ladies. She had given me a Team Unicorn ring, just some pink unicorn ring earlier in the day. And I remember, and I went up and said, hey, you gave me one of those rings, and I gave her a high five, and she's actually uh, Seth Green's wife. So, so did walk around. I think there was uh, Breck and Meyer with him, and uh, I don't know. I felt a little out of place. I was with all these, like, movie celebrities, and I'm like, okay, okay, got to act cool. And so um, I just kind of went on my way, walked around a little bit, and trying to recognize the people that were in there. Um, I saw Hiro, Hiro Nakamura from Heroes, um, hit the dance floor. And uh, as I was dancing, I got really drunk. I walked up to this Indian dude. I recognized, hey, you're from the guild. I gave him a high five. And uh, I kind of walked off. And uh, at that point, I was just kind of done. Not really done. I continued dancing. But, you know, it got really late. And after that, I just kind of head out, met up with some other friends, got some more drinks. And that was a good ending to a Friday night. I saw uh, Kevin Sorbo walking around the streets, uh, heading into the Nerd HQ party. So, you know, it's just it's an interesting experience walking around meeting all these celebrities and uh i don't know it feels great i think that's the biggest appeal to comic-con you get to meet these really cool people that you normally wouldn't otherwise um the show floor was okay but really i think it's the people that makes the product uh, saturday same deal I, the night came and i went out and did some youtube partying with my sister and some friends and you know did that youtube thing got my dance on for the second night in a row and people were like damn this guy's moving it and so I, I felt a little embarrassed because I wasn't that drunk. I was moving pretty hard. Um, this this one of, is one of the more low-key nights, so I just kind of hung out with uh, closer friends, talked, made conversation. And uh, that's my Saturday night, and today is Sunday night, and I actually just finished up work probably like five hours ago. I had dinner with my sister and caught my flight back home. And so I must say it's, it's it was a fun trip. You meet a lot of cool people. And really, when you're around cool people, it doesn't matter what you do. It's it's really fun. So, uh, met some cool people that I work with. Every single person, just very hospitable. Um, just very fun to hang out with overall. And I think this vlog is getting kind of long, and my eyes are getting really tired and droopy. So it's probably closed most of the time. So I'm just gonna cut it short, and I'm gonna call it. So I don't know. That's my Comic Con trip. Uh, now I'm back. I just wanna. Play some League of Legends and work on that. Alright, thanks for watching my videos. You guys enjoy yourself.